Hey everyone, welcome to Dove Ventures. A nice rainy day in Derbyshire. The van, the van is at the house. Yes, we've actually moved in. We are actually going to be doing a house tour very soon. But today's video, what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to reveal what the next build is going to be on our VW Crafter camper van. so far we've actually had a bed frame put in we've had an elevated bed put in and we've just got our orthopedic camp van mattress we've had the scope made and you know what it's so comfy but before we go any further we've been asked a lot of questions why have we had the bed designed in a way that i can actually sit up in bed we can sit up on the bed i'll show you there we go nice relaxing position when we just want to chill now we're not actually going to make the bed or anything until we get the next bit done that we told you in one of the previous videos we're actually having like a bulkhead part made here so that obviously it's going to come like up here so it'll like hold the mattress in come to about here come round you ready for it guys this area here we're actually having an rib seat fitted looked into so many different options about like what was going to do here now originally we was going to make like like an L-shaped sort of like bit here, you know, that we could sit in, relax and everything. And then obviously when we go camping and things, we're well camping in some beautiful places, have the door open so we'll be able to see out there. But the thing is, when we started looking into it, the cost of getting the upholstery and things like that is quite ridiculous to be honest with you. So we was kind of like looking at it and thought, is there a different way that we can do it? And we decided that if we had an RIB seat, it would actually work out better for us because by having a seat here, what we're going to be able to do is actually have a sitting area. We're going to get a table where we can have like a camper van table here. And then because it turns into a bed as well, it just gives us like some extra room and go on a camping trip with some other people. And it just works out better for us because we can then put the seat in the bed position. And then when we actually like want to sit down, like I said before, and relax and look at the views and everything, we can actually do it in a way where we're actually sat here and get some cushions, you know, and put it there. So that's what we're going to do. We're... Now we're actually getting that fitted probably within the next month or so, because we're booked in again at AJC Conversions. They're going to fit that for us. And when it gets fitted, it's going to be done just in time because in June, we're going on a three week road trip. Just point out as well, now that we've actually moved, we've actually got the camper van TV set up now, so buzzing about that. Now we've not actually been able to use the van as much as we wanted, not only because we've been moving, because of something else as well, but I'm going to talk about more about that in a different video. Oh, we're so excited, I tell you, we've got so much to do and so many road trips and things, we're just, we are, we're so excited. Now another thing that we're going to get done is we're actually going to be getting all of these bits carpeted. Now the other thing is as well, we've got like, uh, with these vans, we've got actually like, you know, the wiring, it comes out, comes across and then like it goes in here. What we're going to do is we're actually going to get a locker made and it's going to like cover this area and it's going to come across here, probably come to around about here and then what we'll do is we'll bring it here so it covers it a bit. But again, that's going to be coming in a different video. As you know, we've got a Webasto heater. That is fantastic. Now, we've just upgraded this dial. We've not actually used it yet. Now, we have been asked, again, lots of questions about these Webasto heater um, digital dials. And we've been asked a lot, can you actually change them on any Webasto heater? Their website, it actually tells you what these digital control panels can actually use. So, depending on what Webasto heater you've got, you can actually change it over, but do check on their website. So the next thing that we're going to get done with the build as well is a kitchen unit. So we're going to be having a kitchen unit here. Now we can't really do this till the bulkhead part's in because when the bulkhead part is in, then what we're going to do is we're going to get a kitchen made and it's going to come to about here. And what we're going to do, we're going to have a sink in it and we're going to have a gas hob that we can actually use for cooking. So the other thing as well as part of this build, we've got an EcoFlow power unit. Now this power unit that we showed in again in a previous video is going to come in so handy. And what we're going to do is we've designed it in a way that we've put these um, we've put these 12 volt sockets here because as part of the build when we have the RIB seat, we're going to actually put the power unit under the seat and then it can be charged while we're driving and so on. 
Let me go and get it. I'll show you what I mean. So this EcoFlow power unit it's able to power heavy duty devices and we did a previous video where Brooke actually tried a hair dryer and hair straighteners and it powers them no problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting this under the RIB seat and then we can actually then charge it while driving by putting it in here. I mean it works out so ideal for us because it's going to take away a lot of the problems that we thought was going to have with running heavy duty devices. As you can see, it's got two plug sockets there that you can use and you can actually use a 12 volt socket in there. And then also you've got your USBs and your fast charge and everything on there. What I'll do is I'll actually put a link in the description where you can have a look at the video and you can see us using this power unit. We are going to be doing a lot more with it. When we have the kitchen unit fitted as well, we'll get a sink as well because that's something that we didn't have in our previous camper van. So the other thing that we're going to do, because we actually asked you guys about it is what do people use, you know, like when you've took the bulkhead out to cover things like this. Now you get some original parts that actually like fit around here. So we've been looking into that, but there are some companies that you guys have told us about that actually make things. So we have been looking into that and we are seeing what's going to be best for us to do. Just come in the house. Oh, still absolutely buzzing. I mean, just look, look at the view that we've got here. This is one of the reasons why we moved here, guys. So the other thing that we're going to do as well is we're actually going to use that EcoFlow power station to power like an industrial type of like cool box because we're not actually going to get a fridge because we know that like fitting a fridge with the amount of storage that it has in them, it isn't going to be enough for us. So we've looked at all different options and we are going to get like a cool box and do it that way. I don't quite know how we're going to like fit it and where we're going to fit it but we do know that we will be able to power it using the EcoFlow power station. With the sink system as well, Bruce just said to me, did you mention the way we're doing it? We're basically doing a two bottle system where it's like one is going to be like wastewater and one's going to be fresh water. Again, that'll work out best for us. So as you've seen, we've still got lots of things that we need to do to the van to get it to a level where it's going to be pretty much fully converted but we can still actually use the van because as you've seen in a previous video, we went to Northumberland, we did some well camping. Well, we've decided we are going to be doing some well camping in the next few weeks because we're doing some well camping in Derbyshire. So guys, now that we've got the van here, now that we've moved house, now that we've actually got like more things that we're getting done by AJC conversions booked in, everything is like, we're, we're on it now. So we've got lots and lots and lots of different things to come because some of the videos that we're going to do when we're traveling and things, we're going to do them a little bit different. I'm going to get you guys involved as well. So we're really excited about that. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I know it's a short sweet video today, but we're giving you an update to exactly where everything is up to, what's going on, what's next with the camp van, and what's next with the travel. Because as I said, we've got a three week trip coming up in June. We're going to tell you all about that. Can't wait. Press that like button and until the next one, guys, bye for now.